I just wanted to send a little holiday present out to you all, a little visual action. I'm going to talk over maybe a little bit of this, but I wanted to just show 125 plus San Fran stereoscopes that I found on a really cool website. I'll include the link below. But this is not only mind boggling as to how the heck this was built in the 1860s of San Francisco and a lot of these buildings in the 1860s, but it'll just show really cool stereoscopic imagery. So if you stand at the appropriate distance and you cross your eyes, you see three of these images, focus on the one in the middle, and they're all pretty much at the same uh, level. So you can really, if you get in the zone and you see it with your eyes, you can click and you can keep it going. So I wanted to include a bunch of buildings, some landscapes, some street views, some people views, some really old pictures. And they're all between 1860 and 64, I believe, or. 60 to 69 something like that 64 to 69 but they're amazing like look at this what the heck how were people in a horse and carriage building things like that how could they just arrive in the 40s for the gold rush and then build stuff like this it just doesn't make too, it doesn't make much sense there's a lot that doesn't add up that you'll see in these photos because that when the earthquake happened and it destroyed this place it was clearly well established and things were built these were built and how long were these around? They have undergrounds, they're mud flooded as the people say. So there's definitely uh, things underneath and if you were to dig underneath you'd find certain things and some of these houses and things are just absolutely ridiculous. And you know, I, I agree that some things could be built at this time but if these things were in Europe, they were in Austria, they were somewhere else, they'd be considered hundreds and hundreds of years old. And then they're made in America in the 1860s when there's barely any infrastructure supposedly or who knows, these places, Whatever is, we've been lied. And the times on this are most likely accurate, but they could be off. But either way, they show a glimpse of a magical world that's just a lot different than now. A lot more calm, a lot more peaceful, more serene, more just different. It's, these buildings and these pictures really do seem like, um, like people weren't, <laughs> there weren't enough people around the city to be utilizing all these massive buildings. Something happened at some point which caused a city to be evacuated or emptied out and then new people started coming. Someone scouted it out and then new people started coming in. I don't know when it happened. I, this is all theory again. I think we've all just got theories, but look at the tops of this one. A lot of the other buildings that seem to be missing tops might look like that and different other things which are clearly technology. So much technology around, but yet uh, Edison and Tesla still haven't lit up the um, the, the state fairs, the world's fairs and during these times and it just doesn't make much sense. This place looks like it's like it's being cleaned up from something and uh, being repurposed and who knows. And I could go on for a long time about a lot of this nonsense, but you know I'm, I don't know I don't have any real answers for anyone and there's so many websites and videos that just go on and around in circles. but take a look at these, enjoy the art. This is my holiday Christmas present to you all out there. It's a visual, nice feast. It'll make you think. And really getting into the stereoscopic visual of it all makes you see these in a different light. It's, which also tells a lot about the state of photography. I mean, these things are so crisp. Every part is detailed, the depth. These, these cameras were amazing. These, there was something around for a long time. And the fact that they used to use stereoscopic imagery as like a cool way to visualize photographs is amazing. I wish they never got rid of that. I don't know why they did. But, you know, some people still do it, that the Tool album and different albums utilize it sometimes. But it's a great art form and it's a great way to show depth and you can do a lot of cool changes. And I've done some artwork actually exploiting the stereoscopic uh, awesomeness. 1845. Yeah, so that's when around. <laughs> Let's look at these things. These are old. These are old and awesome. And look at that. Underneath there's something there. That could go, that could go 20 stories deep. Who knows? Like, really. They, they, no, until anyone digs and takes pictures, we don't know. Like... What are these things? What are all these? Who was that? What was the original purpose of that? Did they just decide to put a, a, a memorial on Lone Mountain, San Francisco, or was that part of something else? Was that an ancient well? If that was in Europe, it would be so old. So many of these things, if they were in Europe, they'd be so incredibly old. You know, was it the Mexicans? Was it the, uh, I mean, the Spanish, the Aztecs, the Mayans? Were they here a long time ago? Where is it the Tartarians? Were they here? The Chinese, the Asians, did they come over here? Because to believe, to honestly think that no, no one from China or Japan or any of those places ever, or Australia, anywhere ever set sail and found California. 
it, to think that that is, it didn't happen until Columbus and then they moved over from there. It is appalling to even think that. People were masters of the sea at so many points in the past. People were probably coming over here, hitting these shores like crazy. And I think they were hitting it because there were established cities, worlds, governments, civilizations here that most, some of it got demolished at some point and what stayed got repurposed until um, parking lots decided to come in in the modern San Francisco and now these places are getting looted with pickaxes and who knows, the places it seems like a disaster. So it started off pretty beautiful, pretty amazing, pretty immaculate, pretty incredible, pretty ancient looking. Look at there's barely any people but these buildings could house thousands, millions. And this is, it just doesn't make any sense. This, there's so many pieces missing, and I hope we find them. A lot of people are doing this research. Look at that top over there, just the crosses on it. You think there was something else above there at some point? Yeah, I do. And all these things. Underneath, it could be so much over it. It's who, but was there before, these places. Who knows? I don't. So enough babbling. Enjoy the rest of these. There's a lot of them. Really cool. And um, if you can get in the stereoscopic zone, then you're gonna really love this. If you can see it on a big screen, it would be awesome. I'm jealous. I've never seen it on a big screen, but it looks cool on my computer. But um, enjoy. And uh, if you can't see the stereoscopic with your eyes, some you can put this into a, a virtual reality kind of device, and I think it should work. But if not that, just enjoy the pictures itself. And there's slight differences between each one, so whether in the angle, sometimes you take these by taking a picture and then taking like one in front of your left eye and then the other one in front of your right eye but of the same thing centered around the same thing so there's cool ways of doing it and they did cool things but some pictures you can tell because if things are moving then the time is a little off or um, you know it's it's interesting when you see these little things will pop out if they sparkle it means they changed and sometimes there's a little dust on the picture but like that one the differences in the light and day of the, of the light of the shadows there's so much to see. I love stereoscopic imagery. It's just a beautiful illusion, and it just shows of one of the powers of our eyes, one of the many powers our eyes are capable of seeing. And they utilized this in the past, like, like amazingly. I wonder what else they utilized in incredible ways. Camera Obscura or however, these pictures and many more and paintings were done. But, boom. Enjoy, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy New Year coming up. Bless you all.